Hey, uh, my name is Daniel Brannon. Uh, I'm currently the chair of the marketing department. Um, I got my PhD from Arizona State University and I have been at uh, UNC since 2016. Um, I currently uh, have a big interest in digital marketing, digital analytics, and consumer psychology. So um, I think the great thing about marketing is regardless of what you like, you marketing has a home for you. So my background is actually, um, I got my undergraduate degree in computer science um, and was working as an, as an engineer for several years for a large defense contractor. Um, and while I was there, I took an MBA course, or I did an MBA, and I really um, enjoyed uh, the marketing aspect of, of my MBA. And so once I got a little bit further into marketing, I realized, well, kind of um, there's, there's something for you in marketing, right? So I kind of like more, uh, I kind of like psychology, but I also like technical analysis. And so within marketing, uh, there's this really cool area called consumer uh, behavior, consumer psychology, where you can kind of try to understand what consumers are thinking and try to be able to adjust your content or your ads to kind of, you know, uh, appeal to your consumer. Um, there's also an analytics side of marketing, right, where you can take data from customers or from, you know, business sales data, things like that, and crunch it and come up with some insights for your boss. So I think within marketing, um, whether you love technology, whether you love math, whether you love working with people, um, whether you love graphic design, I think there's a home for you. And as a department, we try to, we try our best to craft our curriculum around those different interests so students can explore those different things. So I think uh, the main development that, that I'm excited about in our department is our push towards uh, going uh, digital. And so we're introducing a lot of new and interesting classes um, as part of our newly introduced digital marketing minor and certificates. Um, these classes, I believe, are pretty unique to um, MCB uh, as a business school. Uh, we'll talk about it later, but we explore all kinds of interesting technologies, including um, uh, the Google suite of uh, you know advertising of Tag Manager. Uh, we're interested in user experience design. Uh, we use um, analytics programs uh, such as uh, SPSS, SAS to do statistical analytics. Um, so I think I'm really excited about uh, the new places the department is exploring and going. Um, So I think it, it's, it's necessary to have a digital marketing minor because if you look at marketing today, um, traditional marketing like TV, radio, uh, that's all kind of in the past. And when I first came here, our department was kind of stuck on that old way of thinking with marketing. But if you look at the majority of marketing now, um, the majority of marketing spend is now done digitally. So marketing is digital now. And so we, th we thought as a department that it's necessary to um, start going in that direction and offering those skill sets to our students. Um, a lot of our students, when they graduate, um, do have skill sets to where they're able to get jobs, internships with um, local digital marketing agencies and larger companies. So we focus on trying to give them uh, both uh, hands-on experience with technologies that are important uh, for those kinds of jobs um, as well as experience working with uh, clients um, and doing projects that are kind of uh, meaningfully uh, related to that kind of work as well. We have a lot of alumni success stories. A lot of them uh, are still here working with agencies locally um, and we try to get them placed with internships with, uh, you know, with uh, good local companies, whether they're interested in digital or not. So I think the thing with marketing, uh, the reason why I love marketing is that it's a huge field. So you can um, get involved in marketing and do personal selling like a salesperson. You can get involved in marketing and be a manager. You can get involved in marketing and just do business analytics. You can get involved in marketing and do web design. You can get involved in marketing and do advertising, right? So my advice to a new student is to um, explore all these different areas so you have a sense of what marketing is and what niche you kind of want to specialize within marketing.
Um, I would also give you the advice to to um, not only take the, the skills, uh, certifications, technologies that we give you, but also to explore things on your own. Uh, because marketing is a ever-changing kind of uh, field. So what we teach you here, even though we try to stay up to date, will probably be out of date within a couple of years. So um, as a marketer, especially as a digital marketer, um, you need to be able to continue to educate yourself um, to stay relevant on the job market. Uh, but the biggest advice is just to explore, find something that you really like doing, um, try to build up a skill set in that area, um, and then hopefully uh, you, know, you can find a job doing what you love to do when you get out. So our university offers a ton of classes that I would consider to be cutting edge, right? So um, we work closely with the Computer Information Systems Department. They're uh, offering project management courses, which are valuable for marketers. They're offering user experience design courses, which are valuable for marketers, data analytics courses. Um, within our own department, we're offering um, marketing techno uh, a technology course. We're offering a content marketing course. We run a really good digital marketing uh, core course as part of our um, digital marketing minor. Um, some of the interesting classes that I teach or I've taught in the past, um, I really like uh, the Google ecosystem because I think it's really under taught for how, for how important it is in the digital marketing ecosystem. And so I teach a class called uh, 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 Digital Ad and Web Analytics. And for that class, we uh, explicitly focus on uh, getting students to understand uh, website design, how Google Analytics uh, plugs into websites and how we interpret uh, key performance indicators or marketing metrics from Google Analytics. Um, and also how we can use other tools within the Google Suite to uh, supplement uh, Google Analytics. So there's, there's uh, you know, a dashboard creation tool called Looker Studio that Google introduces. Um, there's also what we call Google Tag Manager, which is a way to track traffic on your website so you can get customized reporting. These are all, uh, when you get out into the industry, these are all really important tools that marketers use all the time, but they're not commonly taught in um, business school curriculum. And so I've always told my students that I think with some of the skill sets that we give you, you have an edge over other um, graduates from other universities because we're teaching the, you these unique tools. on or something that's unique about our department is that we uh, actually have quite a bit of money within the department to take students on uh, trips to marketing conferences. Um, so just for example, uh, for the past three or four years now, um, we've had faculty take groups of students to the National Retail uh, Federation Conference in New York City. Um, and each time uh, a couple of professors have gone or one or two professors have gone, um, and they go to the conference in New York for uh, two or three days. Uh, there, um, you know, there's a lot of speakers to see there. There's a trade show on the floor. Um, most expenses for the students are paid, right? I and mean, we have several conferences like that. We have a digital marketing conference that students escort, uh, or that faculty escort students to um, in California. I just went to New Orleans to an, uh, an AMA conference uh, with a group of students. Um, I would say additionally, uh, just, just at MCB, um, I want to make it clear that when you go to a, another university, a lot of times you're interacting with a graduate student or a PhD student. Um, you're not interacting with faculty, so you might have really large classes that are being taught by a grad student. Here, uh, mostly you're gonna get tenured faculty with expertise in their area that are teaching smaller classes. And so I think just that way of delivering course material, um, if you want to engage with your professor uh, in class, during office hours, things like that, um, we're a lot more accessible than they would be at maybe like a larger university. As incoming chair for the department, I have a lot of exciting plans for, for what I'd like to do with our department. Uh, the first thing is I want to assemble uh, an advisory board of local experts in marketing and digital marketing to advise our, uh, our department on how we can stay relevant and keep uh, students uh, gaining the skills that they need to be successful in the job market. We're also looking at adding a bunch, uh, you know, several different new classes, uh, minors, concentrations, uh, you know, 
such as maybe user experience design or marketing analytics that are also appealing to both students and uh, the job markets. I'm also really excited that within the past couple of years, we've gotten some younger faculty uh, with expertise that's very relevant for students um, who've gotten great feedback in the classroom um, and are very um, you know, exciting and dynamic in the classroom. Really excited, we're really excited to have them on our team going forward and they're creating a lot of new interesting classes for us.